Coogee is a beachside suburb eight kilometres southeast of the Sydney city. Because of its close proximity to the water and Australia's fascination with beachside living, the suburb attracts a higher than average real estate value. So, Bettina and Nathan, thank you so much for letting me come and have a look at your house today. Now, oh, this pleasure. was a renovation. So, what was here before? So basically what was here before was the existing shell of the building. It had been renovated to a particular stage where it had been architecturally designed. The previous owner and builder had renovated to make essentially the outside shell. Yeah. They installed some of the doors and windows and it was basically just timber studs and frames inside. So it was very empty inside. It's a huge pigeon coop and it was just <laughs> it was. mess everywhere. And there was pigeons here. Oh yeah, it was shocking. It was, the pool was absolutely, like, was a dark green colour and there was just mess everywhere. There was pigeon droppings about this deep oh, throughout wow. the whole house and it was just, it was a real mess. It had okay. sat empty for about 18 months. So we were able to pick this, this place up as a building site. It was too big for anybody else to do as a handyman. And as we've got a building company, we could hit the ground running. So it was a great opportunity for us. This is um, a really lovely warm space. I mean, we've just walked in pretty much from the front door. Yeah. This could be like walking straight to your kitchen, but it doesn't feel like that at all. I feel like I've gone, gone through a little journey to get here and it's a really lovely space. So what, what have you done here? Well, that was the art with this place. You know, as much as it had some great size and spaces, it was chopped up. So the first thing that we really had to work out was how we manage the kitchen. Yeah. The kitchen really is, if we're honest, very close to the front door. So we said we have to make it a piece of furniture. It has to be grounded and has to become a great central feature that everything else then just surrounds. We've used a lot of natural timbers where we can through here. We've used a lot of recycled timbers, a lot of yep. big, heavy, chunky beams. We've really tried to ground it in a lot of natural timbers and natural stones. But at yep. the same time, we wanted to, we love the clean white walls. So yep. to get that balance and then not make it too harsh and slick and shiny, yep. using those natural timbers just brings that balance it back. It really does. Um, we're great skiers, okay. so we wanted snow skiing. Snow skiing. Yep. Yep. So we wanted to create our own little Colorado mountain house okay. in the eastern yeah, suburbs of Sydney. Yeah, that's exactly kind of what's going on here. Right. This is a really clever trick that you've got going on here with the um, with the timber floorboards. Uh, is it, why did you run them long length lengthways and not long? I think you've always got to consider what is your largest space that you're working with or your main room that you're working with. And because this leads to another space that elongates out the other way, we turn the timbers around. Okay. Having a hole that's got a certain width yeah. also means it can cope with it too. Yeah, that's great. Uh, in the kids' rooms, I really love the treatment you put on the wall there. I mean, that's a feature wall rather than just doing um, just painting it. You've used timber. Yes, I wanted it to have that treehouse feel. Okay. So we've used a laminate flooring, doesn't have to be anything expensive. And then by putting the uh, feature of the tree on top, has given it a little bit of that 3D sense. Really playful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so it's overlaying the different timbers and materials essentially gave it a lot of fun. Okay, this is a really lovely little um, loft, I guess, if you like. So this room wasn't here in the original 70s house, is that right? No, this is, this is an addition to the, the original sort of scope of the house itself. Okay. And it's created almost, you know, I guess they traditionally call it a parent's retreat. This is our space, it's, it, you know, it's got an image of being up in the clouds. It's got our bedroom, a walk-in robe and bathroom. It's okay. like its own apartment. And the, the colour palette's just slightly different too. It's a bit, um, bit more whiter. Yes, yeah. so we've taken sort of the, still the neutral, natural textures that we love, and we've actually just softened them a little bit. I think, you know, being in your bedroom, it should be a more relaxing space. Yeah. And again, I feel like it's part, you know, we're up in the cloud when we come up here. Well, you've got your own little balcony here, so, um, you know, you can, you can shout out to Romeo from down below. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 You've got the beautiful views to the um, to Sydney and beyond to the Blue Mountains as well. Yeah, no, it's yeah, lovely. It's, it's, yeah. it's an unexpected mm. thing to have in a, in a home in the suburbs yeah. and it's a real pleasure to come up to. The house is really quite deceiving from the outside. The facade is understated and you still can see some elements of the 70s house. But once inside, things really change. This is an interior design that has been designed with every angle and detail considered. It really is one of my favourite all-time interior designs.